gang, this is Captain Eddie Castlewood with Worldwide Wood Turners. We got to talk about a few things. I'm going to get my hat. I'll be right back. Don't move. You know that you don't move. Ta -da. How you like that, huh? We always talk about things you can do here at Worldwide Wood Turners. And I did this 15 years ago with Hannah's Mickelson. Um, pardon me. I'm all choked up over this. I went to Aramont, and Hannah's did a week-long seminar on how to turn wooden hats. This was number two I made. Number one, my kid took it. You know, she came in, she was oh, so sweet. I wasn't paying attention, and it was gone. But that year, I did 65 hats from August to Christmas. Yeah, I was a turning fool. Now, if you get the AAW journal... Um, and I can't think of the name of it. It's the magazine that comes out every month. But it's 50 bucks a year to be a member of that or something like that. Somebody gave me a couple of memberships. The only way I was going to do it. But they got a great article on this. Now, I can't copy and send it to you because I gave mine away. My buddy Ronnie and Tom and a couple of the other guys don't get the magazine. So my deal is once I get it and read it, I pass it on. But Hannah, Hannah's has got a great article on doing this. I want you to note something. Look how thin that edge is. And you can almost see light through it. You can't, but almost see light. If the light's bright enough, I guess you can see the stars. Um, but this is turned out of damp wood or wet wood. The best one I turned was a piece of uh, ash that a guy cut down the morning that I turned it. It was that damp. Or that wet. It was a live tree. And he brought it to a demonstration that I was doing. I said, I'll turn the hat. You bring the wood. I'll bring the hat. Bring the hat. Um, I'll turn the hat. Whatever. But the guy brought me the log. I quartered it up. or sized it up. Put it on the one way. Between points. Got it started. Put my faceplate on it and all that. Turned the hat in about four hours of work. Now, remember I was taking my time to show and stop people. And I had to do a little showmanship too. I mean, I was... I, my cameraman was on the other side of the lathe. I had to bury him in shavings. It was just no way around it. But I couldn't get a picture of that. But I buried Bill in shavings. I mean, just completely. Because he, he was a good champ. He was going to stay there right in front of that lathe and videotape it for us. And I don't have that anymore because at the time we weren't allowed to video in the store and all that stuff. But I turned that hat. And about 2 o'clock in the afternoon we started cleaning up. I put the hat in the press. There's a press you put it in that squeezes on the two sides of the hat. And it makes it in oval shape. See, your head's not round. I don't care what anybody tells you. Your head's not round. It's oval shaped. So, or it's out of, out of canter or whatever that is. But I put it in that clamp to squeeze it. I put the rubber bands and the tape on it to quick, keep it from splitting across the edge. In the middle, it'll split right in the front here or right in the back. And I've had that, and I've put them back together again. If you work with them, you can do it. Somebody got my attention a few minutes later and said, Eddie, you need to go check that hat. And I said, oh, it's okay. It's in the press. I went over, and this puppy went all the way around and sealed up like you won't believe. All right, we're going to start over. The hat in the press had curled up. I mean, really like a ranger that had the, the fins come up on the, on, the, on the sides. I don't know which hand, which hand I moved. It came up on the sides, and they it had a nice point to it. The bow came down. The tail went down. This thing was awesome. I mean, awesome. I took it home, and I think I had a month between the meetings. I took it home, and I sanded it out, and then I put three coats of automotive clear lacquer on it after I sealed it. And I sealed it with deft 50-50 out. That's my, my favorite. I can't get over it. Now put the seal on it. I buffed it out. Then I put the coats of automotive clear. And and I found that in a spray can at a, uh, at a hardware store. And I put it on it. And look, this is 15 years old. Look at the shine. No wax, no polish, nothing. I wiped it off with my handkerchief when I came outside. And it sleeps on a foam dummy head, not my dummy head. It sleeps on a foam dummy head in my display case. This is something you can do. 
Now, if you don't have a log big enough to do a full-size hat, which is just 17 inches or something like that, um, you don't have that. Make it smaller. Yeah. Cut it small and make it like a baby doll size or a little kid size or a big kid size or your size. But first start playing with it. And remember, wet wood. You can't do this with dry wood. It's got to move. You see, it went oblong. It went to the oval shape. It'll happen if you get it wet, if you do it wet. See how the sides curled up? I can't cut it like that. The front's down. The back's down. The sides came up when it was wet. And I tell you, the squeeze, which is simple, and then the curls and rubber bands and some tape to keep from popping. And guess what? It's in the Hannes Mickelson instructions, all of it. I haven't seen anybody get that detailed in an AAW article in years. And when it showed up, I was just amazed. I read through the whole thing twice, and I've been to his class. Um, and he does it a little bit more mm, refined than he used to. Mm. But I tell you what, the man's an artist. He does beautiful work. Hannes Mickelson. He's out of Vermont area. And I bought wood from him and had it shipped here because we don't get this down in New Orleans. And then a pretty piece of wood. I mean, that is nice. Somebody said you can't make anything of a pith. Uh, I'm sorry, but that kind of looks like a pith going through there. Okay. Um, and I, I detailed it out. You can do the same thing. That's what this is about. It's not what I can do. It's what you can do. You can make this hat in a heartbeat. All you need to do is work at turning super thin, and you can only do that with wet wood, and then you have to cure it without it seeing sunshine, heat, or air. It's a lot, huh? Nope. It means put it in the brown bag, put it in the shop, open it about once a week, it'll dry air, the moisture will come out, dry air will go in, and it'll slowly cure. And I've done 65 or so hats in that one year. And I've done over 100 hats so far. I'd love to get back in. If they let me back in the shop, I'd find me a log and I'd make one. My wife loves these little American dream baby dolls or something like that. And I want to make a hat for one of those. You know, you got to make the wife happy. All right. I got something else to talk to you about. And this is, well, that's important. It's wood turning. This is, don't move. What I got talked about. Oh, can you wear this? Look, inside I've got a pad that they put on the inside of cowboy hats and safety caps, and that can be available retail. And if you need more than one to, to make it a little more softer, you can. I've got some hats that didn't shrink right, and I put one at one in the back and two in the front, and they made it comfortable. I can wear this anywhere I want, anytime I want. It's just you got to keep taking it off and handing it to people. It weighs less than a Stetson. Did I say that? All right, now let's talk business. Worldwide Wood Turners. This is a club you join that you didn't pay dues. You don't have a fee. You're not committed. We don't have a magazine. We're building a website. We've got a Facebook page. And we've got our own email address. So we're getting along. We're only six months old. We're getting along, okay? We're building this thing up. It's all about you. That's right. You know, your wife says or your spouse says, it's all about you. Well, that's what we're talking about. Or it's all about you. All right? But it is. It's about wood turn sharing ideas. So I said we don't do meetings. Did I? Okay. Should have said it. We don't do meetings. Let's change that. All right? If you've got a computer and it's got a built-in webcam, that's my built-in webcam somewhere up there. All right? That's my camera. And a microphone is... Built in, it's a Macintosh, it's in there, we're down here. Um, but if you got a computer or a smartphone, like my intelligent phone here, that's Henry. He's not too smart, but he works. Um, wow, he just dialed the number. Uh, if you have a smartphone or an iPad, or I think you can do it with all those other name things that pads, groups, and all that stuff. All right, the program we're using is called Zoom. Now, I was told by my IT guy, you have to join Zoom in order to attend the meetings. I got a big bad buzzer on that. Ah, can't do that. Because you don't have to do that. If I send you an invitation, it's going to have the code number and the password. If you press the code, it's going to go to Zoom, open a program, and then you got to type in the password. It's that easy. 
all right? So I've invited you to the meeting. You come, and you get there, and look, this is what you're going to see. It's going to build up to this right here. See this? This is the screen, one way or the other. It's a screen that you're going to see on your screen. Now, that hurt your mind. It's okay. The one you're looking at was with a club up in the northwest, I believe, and Cindy Drozder was doing a demonstration that day. You're looking at the conversation section, all right? Now, when it starts, the moderator is going to click a thing that says mute. Nobody else can talk. Cindy can talk, and she's going to fill the whole screen, just like I am right now. So when she does her demonstration, and if she's tuned into this, and Cindy is, also heard about a half a dozen of other guys are finally jumping on, not finally, but hey, getting on board because of the pandemic. We can't get together six feet apart. That's silly. We can't work like that. So we're going to all get in different rooms. Oh, yeah, you have to wear your mask and, and promise not to touch anybody while you're doing this. I can make fun about it because it's killing me. Um... But if you want to talk, there's a button on there that says, raise my hand. And you click that little thing and a little silver hand, a gold hand goes up. And the moderator will know the guy's got a question. When the, mo the demonstrator says, got any questions? He can click that and you can come live and ask your question. Or you can type it to him a little thing called chat. As soon as you think about it, chat it up. Uh, you can chat to everybody. Your best friend, your worst friend, the moderator, anybody you want. It's all on a the list there. This thing is cool. It really is. It's called Zoom. It doesn't cost you anything to jump in and, and get on board. Uh, no credit card, no ID, and all that stuff. Um, you don't have to back it up with any information from your computer. In fact, you can lock your computer out from it or single on the screen. I've heard other people say they'll come in and steal your credit card. Uh, I still got mine. I love this. I went to five or six meetings in the last couple of weeks. I attended the Alamona, Alamo, Alamona, Alamo Wood, no, I didn't. I went to Dallas area wood turners yesterday, Sunday. Really great demonstration. I mean, Matt really cooked it. He had three cameras. This is as good as sitting in a demonstration at your club with three cameras showing it on the screen. Except on the screen, that's all you get to see here. You get down close and really close, and you can't do that with a, somebody else's camera. Not where everybody wants to do it. So I'm talking about Zoom. I'm talking about a meeting you can join. What do you do now? Okay. It's open enrollment time. <laughs> Sounds like I should be selling real estate in the marsh. It's open enrollment time. If you are interested to be part of this program, and here's a condition. You have to send an email to this email address right here. WorldwideWoodTurners at gmail.com. No spaces. WorldwideWoodTurners at gmail.com. One more time. They do that on commercials. WorldwideWoodTurners at gmail.com. Operators are standing by. They're not really standing by. You send me an invite. You send me a request. And I'll put you on the invite list. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on Facebook on all three pages that I managed. That said, if you're interested in this, send your request to. But only send it one time because you only get in one time. Now, I want to get your request and we program the meeting, which is going to happen about two weeks from today. Today is uh, April 20th. In about two weeks, we'll crank it up. I've already done one with the advisory group. And it worked out right. We know the bugs. I've done three or four. Well, I said six. Three, four, five. Oh, number six is Alamo. And that's coming up Thursday. And I got another one Wednesday. Wow. I, I get to all of these meetings every week. Guess what? You can too. As an observer. Contact the club that you like to visit. Say, hey, can you invite me? And mute me out the whole time. All I want to do is watch. They're not losing anything, and they're sharing what we know about wood turning. That's why we're doing it. Yes, we want to share what's going on out there. So when you send me a request, I'll send you the invite, and it's going to have this. This it's all it's a standard. Well, I don't create that. It comes out of Joe Computer's place. All right, it's going to have the name of the the, the thing, and that's all dots, dashes, kilometers, all, all that stuff. Okay. It's going to have all that across the screen, and it's going to be highlighted. And if you click it, 
but you better write down that password because you can't go back and get it. So write down the password, and after we get to this for a while, the password will be the same thing every time, but it will only go to people who say they're interested. And by the way, if I didn't tell you about this earlier, no commercials, no endorsements, no personal opinions, no politi politics, no religion, nothing like that. We are talking wood turning, and that's all we're doing. So if you got to come on and tell me what kind of work shoes you're wearing or what kind of glasses you're wearing and the best anything in the world, don't call me. And remember, I got the mute button. So we're going to do this. And it's all about worldwide wood turning. Again, that address. Here we go. Here's the announcer voice. Worldwide wood turners at gmail.com. Again, that's worldwide wood turners at gmail.com. One more time. WorldwideWoodTurners at gmail.com. Now, if you send it to me by text or uh, message board or spank or any of those other things, it's not in here. That's the only place I can take it. WorldwideWoodTurners at gmail.com. That's the only place I'm taking it. Nowhere else. Those folks will be on a list. You got it? You got it. I'm Captain Eddie Castle in here. For Worldwide Wood Turners, the club you made, the club you endorse, the club all about you. Take care, be good, stay safe. Remember that six-foot range? All right, and that means no hugging on the neighbors. See, uh, even though she's cute, don't do that. Or he's cute, don't do that, okay? Take care, be good. Get out of there and start making some shavings. Bye now. One more note. Uh, when we close this program, I put a tailpiece on. Pardon me. A ta I'm still choked up over this. I put a tailpiece on that says Worldwide Wood Turners by Captain Eddie Castellan. And I put my resident address, my cell phone, my website of, for WorldwideWoodTurners.com, and email address. That all goes on one page right there. So if you need it, make a, color co a copy of it. Put it on a wall. Write it down. And we are still working on decals, labels. Um, guys said, will we do sport coats? Eh, you know, it depends how it works. But we'll stay in touch.